Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Easter Chungus again. Here to remind y'all about the Wolf Side merch. I'm from the future, and the fate of the world depends on this, guys. I'm not joking. I'm in my bunker right now. Peek the description. I need to eat, man. Please, but I'm hurt. Yeah. Um, hey, okay, like, ooh, bad bitch. I'm a hype man. Cause I like bitches on my dick, and I like price tags. I look, look, check this out. I got, I got the motherfucker. I got the cowboy redesign. I got I got the cat boy redesign. You know, I I was gonna I was gonna do like a whole skit in like VR, but um I don't know, I, I, I just I, I really don't have the energy to, to pick up my, my VR headset, so my hair is fucking crazy so trying to style it was a pain in the ass i couldn't even bother so anyway i asked in my community tab if you guys wanted just my sona or if you wanted uh me and the, a mix of both one so we're gonna be doing that from now on prior to me being known for anonymous asexual and <laughs> gotcha life i've been making content for quite a while i think it's uh it's shit Okay, let, let's hop in. Hey everyone, it's me, Wolfside. Did I say my own name wrong? I'm wrong, pet thieves. And sorry for not- I hate this music. I, I hate this music really so much. This music fucking sucks, know, bro. This music is trash. Is something that a particular person finds especially annoying. Indubitously. <laughs> respond ever. Like, you aren't slick, little man. Bro, you are the little man. When you're just paying attention or whatever, and then the teacher goes, who here knows the answer to the equation? Or something along the lines of that. And then every student raises their hand, except for you. Then you and the teacher make eye contact for about one second. Hey, Joshua, why don't you answer the question? I, I, <laughs> people actually watch these videos, so. my hand. Pet peeve number 267. Okay, Bobby. How far did I skip? Hold on. 267? 267. <laughs> I don't know what the f man. Actually, no, I haven't. I haven't been busy at all lately. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Peace out. Dude, makes me want to put a bed down in the nether. No cap. <laughs> next. Round one. That intro was so loud. I remember that shit. Round one. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 as an avid fan of rap, I've heard quite a few different rappers and subgenres. Skit! But then I stumbled onto one thing recently. One thing that I've never heard of before. I'm a furry rapper king. I'm a Oh shit. Furry rap. It doesn't really no, it doesn't really do it. Like a, I had like an office chair and it was really shit and it scarred my back. Now I have like this, it's, it's a gaming chair, but I just have like a, I have a blanket over it because, um, I don't know, my, my back's weird. So, but it doesn't creak like that anymore. It's like, yeah, no, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do that. <laughs> I'm gonna run the back. I'm from the world of bad dragons and fox muzzles. Okay. Police confused, they'll oh find your body at Kyle Fuzzle. Kitty with energy. Her Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie though. This furry hater this beat is actually pretty fucking fire. The beat is good. Is. I like the beat. I do like the beat, that's true. Tell them throw hands and they transform like gill Ah, what? Oh, what the fuck? When the main appear. And the flow isn't even half bad. No, the flow is bad. Shut up. I don't give a damn, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, this is gay. Honestly, in my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> man. Okay, so this video is actually, like, quite ironic now, because I literally agree with nothing I say. Look, just, just here on your plush white duvet. Oh, there wait, are so that... many of these knockoff clones out there that they're practically yeah. impossible to tell apart. And no, I'm not yeah, just saying that because they're black. Anyway, this epidemic needs Whoa! to be Whoa! Wait, what? Wait a minute. Avoidable, like cleaning up that spaghetti stain left on your plush white duvet. There are so many of these knockoff clones oh. out there that they're practically impossible to tell apart. And no, I'm not just saying that because they're black. And that's racist. <laughs> no, that's literally what? racist because you can't no, oh. that's that's literally racist. 
Now, why did we not get cancelled for this? Because that was so blatantly racist. Too many feeble child minds to inject weed leaves and penis the bottoms of innocent bimbos. These visuals are so boring, bro. Did we, we, did we actually expect to have like his floating head with like motorcycle footage in the background and that was like the it? Because that was okay? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I love Mc... 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 Mc, Mc Obviously, remember him? He made the song Club Going Up on a Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. He's gay. Gay, gay people can't rap. Fuck it, I, I give up. That's ironic. Stream my album. And my favorite uh, cuss word would probably be, uh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so basically, for the four months, um. Basically, the first four months of my channel, I wanted to be family friendly, thus, I censored any curse words. How fucking ironic now, I know. What's your favorite hobby and what is your favorite thing to do in your spare time? Since both these questions are like really similar, I'll answer them both. So, uh, I don't really have like a favorite hobby or whatever. I mean, I like making videos. I don't. And one thing I used to do is I used to write a lot of stories. I still don't do that either. I kind of am looking to get into music sometime in the future. Let's go, I do that now. If we ever hit 1,000, I'll do a face review. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm never gonna do one of those. Don't get your hopes up. Well, as you see, that was a lie. Man, fuck, these are hard to watch. I'm, I'm getting so much pain from the past. I could, I could just. Hey guys, I, I have you all here today about something that should have been told a long time ago. I've been too afraid to tell anyone because I'm afraid of the reactions being shunned for something I cannot control. This was one of my funniest moments ever. The the Jocelyn floors in the background and everything was was perfect. It just wouldn't be right to keep my viewers in the dark about something this big. The more I think about this, the more it comes to light that all my life I have just kept this in the back of my head, as if I always knew but for some reason simply didn't want it to be known. But times are changing rapidly. More and more people that are considered, shall I say, different from the norm are, are being accepted openly. This is, this is so sad, like, in my voice, you, I sound so broken, but like, I sound like a, I sound like a little kid, like, at the same time. It seems as though the longer I've kept this hidden, the more it's began to grow, begging to be shared and set free, so the burden of keeping it hidden to begin with is finally lifted from my chest. I feel as though the reason I failed to share this with you all is because I was molded to believe it was simply abnormal, that it wasn't right to be like this. <laughs> However, the more in contemplate, this part of me that's been trying to claw its way out for so long, the more I realize that it isn't abnormal, and that I was made to be like this. Okay, this might actually go f like for the trophy of one of my best written scripts. This is so well written. But I still didn't make this video because the thought of what my family and friends would think of me after finally accepting it simply scared me too much. Spoiler alert, they were okay with it. I'm just gonna say it. Loud and proud. Let's go. Oh God. Mom, bro, just say it. Just talk already. Just say it. It's okay. I I'm straight. <laughs> okay. I want to say my Discord server went fucking crazy that night. Everyone was debating about if I'm actually straight or if I'm gay. Everyone debated. It was it was a whole argument. It was a whole like, um, government placement. Even though I was literally publicly in a, in a gay relationship, apparently it was still a travesty and a, a topic that had to be discussed at that time. I was at a friend's house with like with like 15 other people and we were all just reading through the comments and laughing so much. I thought you were gay. One, that audio quality. Two, British. Hey guys, it should be 2018 by the time you're watching this, so happy New Year's, I guess. Today I'm going to talk about something I deal with on a daily basis, but I do somewhat enjoy it. Oh my god, I remember editing this video. My program at the time, Camstasia Studio 9, crashed multiple times in the first 10 seconds. It was a really painful night. So, being short. My friends always tell me, Oh, you're gonna grow in high school, or oh, you're gonna have a growth spurt. But like, shut up. I wanna stay short and hold on to the hope that I will. I'm 5'8 now, so no. Okay, just kidding. Don't 
don't shut up, but I still want to hold on to the hope. Okay, so being short and or just looking really young in general, I'm currently 5 foot 0 and I've been like this since July 2016, but I'm not complaining. Or if I'm at a restaurant, let's say Applebee's or something, I'll sit down at the table with my parents, immediately start scrolling my phone on Twitter, and a waitress will put crayons and little coloring sheets on the table. So at the store, I'll be with my mom. Let's say Target, you know? That one store in the US with a dog mascot with a Target on his eye. This was a lie. I don't have a target in my general area. The closest one is like two hours away, so that's cap. So some lady will will walk up to us and be like, Oh, your son is so cute. How old is he? Nine? And then I'll just flash a smile. And then all of a sudden, I'll have someone use me as an armrest. Like, are you serious, dude? This, this sucks. No, no, that literally sucked. Middle school? That shit would happen to me all the time. But I can't even talk because I do it to other people now, so. In group photos or class photos, where whenever short people have to go to the front, you know I'm the star of the photograph. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is true. I'm not in front of the photos, but I'm still the star of them. Well, don't know how I'll spend my New Year's night. Probably holding a pillow and crying or slamming my head on a keyboard because being sleep deprived. Wow. Okay, that New Year's was actually the last one I was excited for. I spent one New Year's with a few British friends because of their time zone, right? And then like that same night on uh, 2017, a couple hours later, I spent it uh, with my day one homies. So it was like I had the British time zone New Year's where it was actually 6 p.m. for me. And then I actually had New Year's with all my all my friends. And we did it for CST and uh, EST. It was like three New Year's in one night. I haven't been excited for a New Year's since then. Like New Year's 2018 didn't hit and New Year's 2019 most certainly did not. Uh, not, uh, I'm saying, I mean, sorry, I'm bad. Let me backtrack. What I'm saying is, like, when it turned 2018, that was the last good New Year's that like, I actually cared about. Because the 2019 2020 New Year's fucking sucked. But, uh, oh well. I mean, I've changed a lot. I mean, yeah, that happens. I mean, this channel started December 2017, and I was 13 then, and I'm, uh, how old am I? I'm 16 now. Yeah. Fuck. Anyway, um,. Merchant Album out now. Links in description. Piss. Petals, petals fall.